Motherfuckers over there, I like you feel me. Come on. Young nigga getting money, now you bitch sick. They can't get response back, bitch go suck a dick. Well, I forgot I had this on my head, my uh, hair dryer. Pete, so I started realizing one of the major things that was really stressing me off for real, for real. As far as everything going with my brother, everything, like one thing that stresses me up for a friend is like there's a lot of shit that has to get done and everything like that. And I'm not fully organized. Like I know what I have to do. I tell myself every, like I'm my head every single day. I think my hair done, y'all. I like, ooh, ooh, life is crazy. But I tell myself, I know, I, know, I, know, I know what I have to do every single day. Every single day I wake up, I know I have to get something done for the clothing line. And I'm just, I'm just gonna say something because I'm not gonna go into too much details. But I know it's something that has to get done every single day, no matter what. Something has to get done. If I have, I have to post a reel, a TikTok, a YouTube video, something of me wearing my stuff has to get out there for me, for me promoting. And then on top of like getting out orders and everything, something has to get done. So I know all that type of shit. I just don't know exactly what has to get done. It's just so many thoughts running through my head as far as what it comes to the clothing on YouTube and everything else that I got. Like, all the other shit I got is going on right for real, for real. Like, this side, like, not so fun stuff for real, for real. The really sad and depressed stuff is for me. That's how it's stuff. Yeah. So, we got a lot of, what I just started doing, I just started doing this last night. I was like, okay, let me just write down my stuff. I've been heard everybody saying I tried to do it before, but it wasn't working. I was like, still, like, we, but man, at this point, we have to put in no return, so I was like, true. So I wore the hair, wear down when I needed it, like that, when I need to get done. So, so far, throughout the day, yeah, since last night, I've been like, okay, I know I gotta get this done right now, everything I need to gotta get done so I can follow it, and I won't be confused and make stuff so I can actually be organized with everything. That's what we're gonna do, I'm trying to make sure I still organize everything for y'all. It is a business at the end of the day that I'm gonna run. Even though we like, even though a lot of mess, we go, like, we going, we going and stuff, a lot of mess up situations, but it's cool. I was just, it's still busy, I'm already in this, so we're going to do our best to make this as special, as professional as possible. I'm not giving up on this at all. I just posted TikTok and talked about that, and I'm not, I'm not giving up on this, like, I don't care how. We're going to talk, and we're going to tell, I'm going to tell y'all more about everything. But I, and one thing I gotta tell you, <laughs> one thing I gotta tell y'all what that's going on. But, um, yeah, we do not give it up on this shit. I don't care about how many, bad, how many situations you put on, how much shit he's on this on us. The drop will still come on this Tuesday. Yeah, we will. Yeah, we will. We're going to continue doing this. More stuff, more coming to the church. This is video church. Yeah. Uh, stay until the next thing. We got it. I'm not going to lie. I'll probably press these feelings. I'm going to press it. I'm going to press it. But it's kind of like 625. I just got up. And yeah, we finna get to working today. It's the day before the fucking color line drop G and I have a lot of shit to get done. A lot of shit. I didn't I don't think I recorded yesterday the rest after yesterday, but my Zell ended up not showing up type shit. Bree was doing I guess Bree took too long to do his huh? Vaughn never texted me back. Sinead just told me okay and shit like that. Everybody know that today is the last day. I'm finna send him a text message in this group chat. Let him know that today is the last day for this photo shoot. And I don't have time for no game. No bullshit. I don't have no time for no games. This is not no game type shit. This is my life. Tomorrow, that's that's this shit drops tonight at 12 o'clock. I'll be up at 12 o'clock getting ready to drop this shit. But also, while you doing that, we got the, um, we got, we got the job interview. We got a lot of shit to get done. I got to take some singular pictures for myself at that. You feel me? So I'm finna go ahead, get up, hop in the shower, and then I'm finna eat first. One of my goals is, what is called? One of my goals on my things. I'm finna get up, pull up. Where the hell is my notebook? Oh. 
one of my goals is like that is like to start making sure I eat more. Cause I told y'all I only eat like one meal a day for real, for real. And like I told y'all, I don't know have anything to do with like depression or what. But motherfuckers not for the kids, so you just eating one meal a day. That shit is over with. I think that shit really is fucking with me. Like I said, motherfuckers is getting skinny as here for real. I'm not gonna hold you. So what we need to start doing is going back to eating more than one meal a day. Or whatever. We need to start working out and a whole bunch of other stuff. We just gotta get our we really gotta get our body right, to be honest. Nah, I was finna clean up, but if y'all see my TikTok, y'all already know what's going on. My peoples don't clean up at all. Man, I, te I technically don't live in work, so I'm not cleaning anything. Yeah, that shit is no good. I'm gonna wash me out of this. That's, that is what I'll be having. I'll be having to wash myself out of this because they decided not to clean up or whatever and would just leave that shit on to me. Oh, shit over it. We See, and I wasn't copper. I'm actually in eating. You feel me? I'm really gonna try to commit to this, this mental health thing. As I, like I already told you, I really got really four months I like this. So within these four months, I'm gonna get myself to the best, best I can be. That's really it. But within these four months, I'm gonna get myself to be the greatest person I am, the greatest person I can be, if not even better. Are we eating? Huh? We eating? Uh, I said I didn't want to do no more clips like that. But, yeah. We eating. Love my fucking braid. Hey, my dreaded braids go hard as hell for. Hey, dirt. Stop playing with me. I ain't catch you for. You see, you see my shit. My shit catching up there with you, gang. My shit catching up there with you, gang. You see, you see, you see how I'm bumming for. You feel me? He's going to set that continue back. Look at this tail wagon. Watch, she's gonna try to come over here. Watch me grab my plate. Look at, look at him, look at him. Look at him, watch. Right. Okay, y'all, so we got going into the photo shoot, to the first photo shoot. Vaughn finna pull up and get this photo shoot done. And, um, so right now I'm finna go ahead. In an hour, I wanna hop in the, sh I didn't hop in the shower yet. I've been doing all holidays, I just peeped, I did all everything else I said I was gonna do besides hop in the shower. It's still morning time, so we're gonna hop in the shower, get I know I said I was gonna hop in the shower about to make sure I get my face ready and everything for what I what I wanna wear and everything. So right now the pictures I'm gonna take by myself or what I like that. That's these ones, those match or like that. What it's called. I didn't have no pants to go with that. I didn't make no pants to go with that hoodie or like that. So you wear some regular jeans. And then this shirt or like that. None of these is folded up my pack. I ain't folded none of this stuff. Or this shirt to go with the maroon one or like that. Now all the black stuff, those two, those ones I'm taking now in the midst of like two, three hours. The maroon one is what I'm taking with Vaughn. The um other one I'm taking by myself. Now with the other stuff, the black ones, the all the black stuff y'all seen, those ones I'm taking with my Zell and Brief because I'm pretty sure it's gonna be later on down the line today. Or like that, mostly. Most likely at nighttime. Most likely Shit, be when sunset, something like that, I just know it's gonna be around, around those times, guaranteed. So, I think it just looks better for me to have pictures like that. Yeah. Now, we actually finna get this shit done. We finna actually go ahead and get the pictures done. Or whatever. Like I said, if I hop in the shower, I actually get the pictures done. And I don't. I can't, like I said, I can't say I'm excited. It's just like, it's so much stuff that we have to do, we have to get done. That's all racing through my head. Even though I wrote this shit now to make sure I stay on top of everything, it's still just racing in my head. So it's like, now I gotta take myself, I gotta take time, like, okay, stop, breathe, go look at the list. That's what, that's like, that's what I gotta do to myself now. It's like, I gotta tell myself, stop, stop thinking, chill out, everything cool, go look at what you wrote down, see what you have to do. Instead of having everything just run and race through my mind. But, for now, I'm gonna shower. 
Catch y'all when we get out. Man, this nigga, this, he don't want us bent over here taking pictures because all the gang shit over here. It's not that I'm not scared or none of that shit like that. Or like, you motherfuckers think they invincible. It's just, I gotta do what the fuck I gotta do. These, they ass, what the fuck? They not finna pay for me to be able to move. I gotta take this shit. I gotta do what I got to. Right there. If it's too much gang shit over here, then we can just do that shit right there. And then, uh, that's the thing right there. See, you look goofy, like, oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, you got to get better than that. All right, then we over there with it. Yes. You got to get better than that, bro. Right, though. Yeah. What about that? What'd that say? You don't want enough. <laughs> Walking down her all the time. I'll be seeing it. Alright, we finna move to the second location. Oh, like that. We're not really second location. We're just gonna take his pictures by my house and then we go uh after that we just waiting for my Zell and Brief or whatever to pull up on us. They still ain't text us back. Like I said, we were supposed to take their pictures last night or like that. But shit is cool. This is the I don't know if today is last day. Motherfuckers can't wait no one longer with these pictures. And draw that pictures is dropping tonight. I'm gonna show y'all the rest. Oh, Pete! Y'all see y'all when y'all see his pictures, I'm gonna record that. That's the other hoodie. That's the other hoodie I was talking about. We got two hoodies like those. We got the gray one and we got the blue one. The gray one and the blue one is just slightly different. They're the same design and everything. Both say Spurner Baby on the front. Only difference is the back design. His back design is smaller than the one that's on the gray. So the blue ones, the blue back design, those are smaller than the one that's gray. The gray ones, they got the bigger back design type shit. Uh, every, like I said, everything is, is designed to be the same, but also looks just a little, slightly different type shit. So yeah. Catch y'all when we get back or whatever to the crib. Fix what? You really can't. I don't, so I don't know. This a whole. This really is a three XL. He his three XL. Like look, folks, look, folks. Like this bitch over B. Gee, I don't know. I, it's because you short. No, I ain't no three XL. It's because I'm, I'm tall, folks. I am a large. <laughs> I might not look a lot, but I'm a large. <laughs> Man, that nigga got Alright, so, so we just got done with Vaughn's photo shoot. I'm finna go ahead and edit these pictures. I only got like 20 minutes to edit the pictures because after we done editing the pictures, we got to go ahead and slide to um, the job interview and get the interview. I'm gonna let y'all know how that goes. But if I, I'm gonna, of course, I'm gonna vlog when I'm walking and all this type shit. Or whatever. But I want y'all, you feel me? I'm gonna let y'all know if I get hired or whatnot and everything. But yeah, like I said, we busy. So we got a lot of stuff going on. Hey, folks. Y'all see me putting this work. Y'all got to sub. Y'all already got to show support. We going up every single day for it. Like I told you, we almost monetized. We Y'all seen the numbers. I put in, Did I put that in the video? Damn, I didn't throw that. Damn, I forgot to do something. But yeah, for you feel me? Yeah, let's get out of here. I got done with the interview and everything. Uh, she said that we, I just gotta get a call back from her other manager type shit. That she not even the main manager. But it seemed like everything went well. She was asking me a bunch of questions and shit or whatever. Well, that's what you supposed to get through the interview and everything. But you feel me? I, what is it called? I had to like she wanted to know. She wanted to know what everything that was going on. So I, t I tell people the truth. What's what's called when people ask me certain things that's going on in my life. I'm not gonna be hesitant to tell you. Well, like that. I never understood why some people were hesitant to say it's they self they situation where they suffering. But it's called I mean I do understand like how you don't want to be complaining to people, because that's for sure me. I don't want to be complaining, complaining to nobody or like that. But at the same time, I'm not gonna hide the situation I'm in. No, I'm not gonna put on the front for anybody. If I don't have it, I don't have it. If I'm not I'm not living like that, I'm not living like that. So you feel me? I could, of course I told motherfucker straight up, yeah. For most of the honest. But like that, cause she was asking where I currently live, I said nowhere. She asked me mama, then I'm like, nah, you feel me? She asked me about the clothing brand and stuff. That's really where everything left, left to. She led to. She asked me about the clothing brand and everything like that. And she was like, why is that? Why is Spurner made me a better child? But like, damn, she said, well, did you be a better child? I was like, because I'm a better child. <laughs> I'm a little better child. 
man, a child to be honest. So, so, I don't know, but hey, hopefully we get a call back or whatever. Um, so from this point on, the only thing we have to worry about is the brim and it's not shit. That's not the only thing we got to worry about. I lie, like a motherfucker. I got a hell of shit to worry about. But like I said, we trying to take everything a day at a time. Even though we really can't take things a day at a time, we gotta take we gotta really take off with this shit and speed this shit up. But the best way I can do anything, or the best, like I said, I'm trying to do this with everything one day at a time to so make sure I stay focused with one thing and make sure you for me one day at a time. So shoot, I'm gonna catch y'all when we get to uh when we do my Zelina photo shoot. Yeah. We finna go, so after we, we just get, what it's called, we just got done to the station, we actually put a slide back to my crib so I can change or like that, and I'm gonna put on other pants so we can get some more pictures done. He said, gang said we come slide to whatever. I was trying to get easy if I'm sick. He left his door right in our best door. Shut up and be quiet for how my shorty spin. Fuck a four in the room. She is the full fit. And I can see it like that whole Grammy. I can see it through a grin. She said, Shut up, but this is so good. She's like, Motherfucker, really in the scouts. Who you bang with? Shut up, I ain't really in the camps. Hit him once and I go go some Danny Fenton. Niggas been faking their lifestyle. I promise to God I ain't jacking that. I got in the kitchen, I started mixing. That's why I make all of the magic at. I'm a trapper and I be where the trappers at. And little pressure, I be where the static at. I'm putting it on, the shit be for real. I'm shopping at sex with a fabric at. Shorty been tripping, I had to the business and hopping if he ain't get lost. I hate when motherfuckers step out of line on whore, I be cooler than frost. If she with me, she got the shit all the magic. Yeah, I got them. I had to go crazy for the shoe. Decent too. Um, bro. Shout out my girl for doing all of that. Some gang. Spun it, spun it, spun it. Spun it, spun it. Get that shit again. Not to be rude, I'm not in the mood. I'm just sitting there getting my paper. I've been down on my ass. It's time to get back. Ain't got no time to be laying up. I was spinning and I've been saving up. Like a bobble with clips, we save them up. Shorty been talking, not by the action. We put them sleeping, no stand up. Go, go. Mm. To roll with us, understand how we live. My love ain't a lie, so ain't nothing to give. In the streets, I'm strong, gotta use your head. By my brothers, it's a cold red. Divide his top and leave your brother dead. Charlie seen no green screen. Paul Bell's grief is finally bad. This shit go like, ooh. Y'all <laughs> seen his ass working with the camera, but that's not on the end of the vlog. To be honest, I got hella editing to do now. You feel me? Shout out to the Zell, shout out to Dan for the me popping out, putting that shit on for the pit. He for sure gonna be on the website. I ain't even let y'all know he's gonna drop a website. Website is gonna drop soon next week. Get a tune for that. So y'all, we got hella shit coming. But I'ma catch y'all later, man. Mr. Great. Alright, Y'all follow. That's how we back home. That really is the end of the video. To be honest, we have a bunch of stuff that we have to do that we already was doing. That I like already got it, the pictures editing and stuff like that. Pictures should be ready to drop. Um, only thing I gotta do left is only thing, only couple things I have to do left is TikToks. Make some TikToks now with the pictures and all the scenes I get. Um, create some Instagram reels and then also have to um. Shoot. Oh, and we got some. We got a bunch of reactions to do. Oh, like that. Back with the reactions, because we gonna, we just call we just not used to the screen record or like that. That's the only thing. So we back, don't get wrong, we back, so back with the reactions. And, uh, shoot. Yeah, you feel me? Thank you to every person that was in this video. Thank you to every single person that's been in the video that's been helping out. You feel me? That's a shout out to Zill. Big shout out to Zill. Big shout out to Vaughn for showing up for the photo shoot. Love and appreciate y'all for y'all know y'all. Y'all know what it is with us, gang. Y'all, you already know what's up. You feel me? Motherfuckers locked in. But, uh, yeah, this shit, like I said, this this clothing line drop like that. This shit, 
took a lot out of me or oh, like that and this is like this little this is why i put a whole i put a whole bunch into this no about for like that's why i say this one was my I feel like this is my best drop yet because of how much work i really put into this one or oh, like that and i'm not really expecting no huge nothing huge for it i'm just happy the fact that it's actually finna get dropped tonight that's what i'm really most heavily happy about you feel me a lot of you can't can't follow with this um to anybody that want to purchase anything you feel me like that i should have already went over the prices or like that in the video so y'all gotta work y'all gotta uh, go fuck with that um to find out what the prices was in the in the video uh if you want to shop or like that all you have to do is dm me to purchase oh it's one thing i forgot to do for y'all i forgot to tell y'all the true meaning behind the story on me i gotta tell y'all the true meaning behind everything we're gonna get that film for y'all but um yeah, we just got to, um, what was it? What was I trying to say? If you want to D, if you want to go ahead and buy anything or cop anything from the brand, all you have to do is just DM me on Instagram, Snapchat, or uh, TikTok, and I will DM you back. That's only for this week only, and you will just continue also being like that forever. But, and I've, I've heard a bunch of every people, a couple, lot of people, a couple talk about, you need a website, all this other type of shit. And I've been one of the website, but it's had so many complications for it, for it. That's a whole nother story for it by in itself. So, I listen to y'all. We will have a website next week. It won't be this week, but next week we will have a website. The website will be up and everything for sure with no issues. I, like I said, I've been working on the website long, long ago. It's just that like we had so much issues. I have, I've been made like at least six websites for so far. And that's not even an exaggeration. I'm not going to hold you. You feel me? Website will be up and ready. I right, just y'all got it. Just wait. You feel me? I told y'all. I put a lot, a lot of time and effort into this, into this one. I'm not gonna hold you. Go support. You don't gotta buy nothing to support. All you just, you feel me? So watch, fuck with the TikToks, like the videos, comment, reshare, let somebody know about the brand. You feel me? Support black businesses. Other than that, catch you later, man. Oh, I'm gonna tell y'all the meaning behind the shit in a second. But other than that, catch y'all later, man. All right, so look, I peeped. I didn't tell y'all what the prices was and stuff like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and let y'all know what the prices is for everything. We also are running sales next week. So we're not next week. Starting from Thursday at 12 o'clock at night was basically Black Friday, all the way until um Tuesday, 12 o'clock at night is when we'll be running our sales. We're running for that long. Y'all gotta tune in. We're doing a five dollars off sale. I'm not gonna math or like that, but we're doing a five dollar off sale. Five dollars off of everything we got going on for our brand. Everything is five dollars off. That's how we're gonna do it. So this is what we got so far. This for this the uh, I'm gonna go ahead and tell y'all how much everything is, and then how much everything is after you feel me the um the sale. So the maroon hoodie, that's thirty five dollars after the sale. Come on, simple math, that's thirty dollars. Who you wanna pay thirty dollars for these? I like that. I'm telling y'all, I might really wanna go get these with these sales because y'all might wanna go ahead and hurry up with these sales. I'm not gonna lie to y'all because I haven't had a bunch of people that's been DMing me talking about, oh, that look raw is here. Oh, you, what it's called? When you drop in that type, I've had a bunch of people that's been inquiring about this. And y'all know we have a website. I'm only gonna have, I probably gonna have a limited, uh, um, when we do the, the website, I could hold time have a limited product that we're gonna do. And I might just like, you feel me? We might run out of products and we might run out of uh, stuff. So I don't know. The goal, we're not, we not trying to do that. We wanna continue selling for sure. But hey, I'm just saying. You don't know what can happen. You might want, like I'm saying, you might want to hurry up and get these. No about before they actually sell it, cause these I can tell these bitches gonna sell out. No cap. Um, the gray hoodie, you can go and get that for thirty dollars after, after. I keep on wanting to say discounted taxes. After you go ahead and take off the um, see, who's gonna say taxes again? After the sale like that, it's gonna be twenty five dollars. All shirts, we sell all shirts for twenty dollars after you take off the discounts. See, who's gonna say discounts again? After you go ahead and take off the um. After the sale, it's gonna be 15 jackets. All my jackets going for $22. After the sale, that's $17. And for jogging pants, all my jogging pants is going for $25. I had to take off tax, that's $20 for the jogging pants. Get it tuned for real, for real. Other than that, we gotta go on to move on something else. All right, so look, let me go ahead and explain to y'all the designs for real, for real. And everything. So, not everything, but smoke the, like, you know. The reasons behind a lot of this shit. So, Sperna Baby stands for abandoned child. Sperna means abandoned. Baby means child. I was looking it up one day. I just went, I what it's called. I was trying to find different words for abandoned. Sperna, Sperna came up and then boom, ever since then, Sperna Baby. No fun of. 
it's more of a story behind that. But yeah, you feel me? We gonna give y'all that story tomorrow as far as like everything, like the like the real deep meaning behind my clothing brand drop and everything like that. And not not behind the clothing brand drop, like behind the name and everything. We gonna give y'all the real deep meaning behind that shit tomorrow when I actually drop. But other than that, you feel me? So we knew our shit was gonna be a baby and stuff like that because it was Sperner baby. And when we was doing the YHCW shit, we had a baby then. So what I wanted to do was I wanted to make my own baby type shit. So what I ended up doing was end up having somebody creating me a design or like that the one with the spikes type shit. You feel me the baby with the spikes? I ended up having him create me a design stuff like that. Cause originally he had two other two other designs that I had drew myself, but I didn't have the proper equipment to do it for real, for real. So it came out ass. So I had somebody else to do. It. I paid him for the thing. It was like five dollars like that. Made the first design. That was the design that y'all had seen with the, like no baby with the spikes and the glasses and the bottle. That was the first Sperner baby thing that we had dropped stuff like that with the shirts, and then you know with the um with the shirts and the jackets and stuff like that and the hoodies. Those was the first thing we had dropped. You know when I had we had our summer drop, our fall drop, and uh yeah with this yeah that's that's everything we had dropped like that. Those hoodies are everything like everything all that stuff is still available and stuff like that everything i have none of my stuff is like we don't run out of product that's not how we doing our shit we're not run, gonna run out of product and like that you just gotta order it or dm me and i'm most definitely have your shit i have everything to make it so that's why we don't run out of products basically and then we had a website of course we're not gonna run out of products but um that that was that and then that's how we came up with the design that's how the design was came and everything like that i told him basically like i told him i sent him the picture stuff like that and boom he made my design but with this drop, I had a whole bunch of other designs that way, that meant way more to me than that baby like that. And I feel like I, want, I had to express myself a whole lot more with this drop. No cap. I wanted my Christmas drop on my, I said Christmas, I wanted my winter drop to have a whole lot more expression for real, for real. Because I just, I had to. I ain't like, it's like I have been, it's like I showed y'all. As y'all have seen throughout these other couple vlogs, other stuff I've dropped and showed y'all. We've had, it's been a lot of stuff that's been going on with me for real, for real, that's been like really on my mental and has really been messed I've been messed up with a lot of shit or whatever. So, I wanted to express the best way I could. I don't really talk about my issues and like that. That's why I put most, I, that's why I put most of my art or like that into my clothes and my, I guess that's my way of expressing myself for real. So, we wanted to go all out uh, crazy with it. So, we didn't really want to have no limits for it. That's why you... Feel me? The S is all different types of weird people. Some what is called? I had this girl today, like the one. And she she was telling me like, oh, kind of looks like you just made that. Like it's like all kind of little sloppy. That's the point. I wanted my shit to be sloppy. I wanted my shit to not not sloppy. I wanted my shit to be unique. I wanted my shit to be there. Like I wanted everything to be unique, but still all over the place type shit. That's the that was the whole point. Cause what it's called, my mental is all over the place. That's that's how I, everything is everywhere. Everything's all over the place, but it's neat. You feel me? That's how my that's how I am. Or like that I'm neat. But everything is all over the place up in here with my mental and everything. And then you know with the emojis. Those emojis and stuff like that that y'all see on the shirts and everything like that. Those are emojis. Those are actually like different types of babies and stuff like that. That are going through different emotions. If y'all ever peep, the emojis they're kind of split in half, kind of. One has a like crossed eye or someone had like a squiggly eye or something like that. And then the other side would have like a straight eye and a straight mouth and the other side, you feel me? The reason behind that is because that's mixed emotions. When you uh, uh when you feel abandoned or something like that, and when you feel like a when you feel like you've been abandoned by society, all the type shit, you feel me? You gotta put on, in my opinion, what I have to do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna speak on me. I feel like I have to put on two faces and stuff like that. I'm always smiling. Like I, even for y'all, I'm always smiling for y'all. But Behind the camera, behind closed doors, when people don't see me. I'm I'm crying my ass off. I'm over the stressing. I'm I'm going through shit. No doubt, that's a lot of shit that I'm going through. Y'all have seen it, but that's not y'all only seen a little. Y'all no, y'all ain't seen it. I told y'all about it, but I ain't tell y'all about everything for it. It's a whole bunch of shit that I really go through for real inside my mental. So that's why I have to mix emotions and everything like that. And then the um that one jacket that Zeal got or like that. If y'all peep. Those weren't babies on his jacket. Those were like, like they was like skull type. I wanted to make like a skull type ghost type character and stuff like that. Only reason why I wanted to do that. And when my my next drop, y'all gonna see more of those characters for sure. For the, for the next drop, reason why I wanted to do that. Sperna baby, a banner child. When you like I said, when I felt a banner. I felt you feel dead inside. Motherfuckers going through depression, everything like that, and feel like they can't really talk to nobody about their issues. They feel dead inside and they, they're draining themselves for real, for real. 
So that's the skull, the dead baby. You feel me? You got some of the babies crying. You got some of them going through different emotions and shit like that. And I feel like the baby, I feel like even though even though the adding a sperm baby part baby part too, like was slow, like kinda like cliche type shit, it has a it has a good meaning behind it because babies express different types of emotions. And they go through hella emotions. All you feel me because they development type shit. There, that's how they are. But that, I feel like that's also that's why I was able to add the you feel me the baby to it because a banner child. Well, you a banner. You you feel me. You don't got nobody to rely on. That's a whole bunch of shit that you have. That's a whole bunch of you got going yourself. And when you have to do all this shit by yourself, like I'm doing, when I have to do all this shit on myself, you experience a whole bunch of emotions that you don't have. To, I don't know how to control my emotions. My emotions are all over the place and stuff like that. I mostly just feel mad, angry, sad, but that happiness shit you know, I don't barely see it for real. For real, I am capsule. You. you feel me? Only time you feel me. So yeah, that was mostly the reasons. And but like. The reasons why I decided to do what I did with the brand and the designs. Um, let me know what y'all think. I feel like it's some more stuff I should be that I should be seeing that has even more of a deeper meaning behind it. But I can't really get it off the top of my head. I'm just this is me telling y'all off the top of my head what that shit mean and what that shit meant to me. I could I could have sat here and written and written down and stuff like that and re explained it to y'all. But I want to just let y'all like I want y'all to see the realness type shit like that. You feel me? I want y'all to see the realness when it came to like what I had to say about my brand and everything. But yeah, this this time this is the end of the video. Like I said before the end of the video, it was like I think then a ten minutes ago. You feel me? Fuck with fuck with the clothing, the clothing brand. Uh, website will be coming soon. Made this front video. We have not subbed to the video yet. So right now that's done. Oh wait, why are you watching the interview? You not subbing? That's weird to say. I don't. I don't really rock with that. So right now that's done. Over like I said, it's upcoming game. Upcoming, upcoming, funny. Other than that, catch you later, man. Mr. Gray.